Hi guys, Virgo Creativity here. Today I want to do a quick video about my skin. So I'm going to show you some things that I use to keep my skin looking, you know, soft and supple. Okay, so just hang with me real quick and I'm going to show you all the things that I use. I like to exfoliate my skin and these are natural products that I like to use just to exfoliate and then I uh, wrap everything up with a moisture. So, of course, I use baking soda because, you know, you want cell turnover and all that stuff to get your cells and your skin looking flawless. That's why you have to exfoliate and move all the dead skin, slough it off, pull it off and just softly, gently like rub it, massage and circular motion. And this is good for that baby soul. And then I like to use a lemon. Okay. And as you can see, I'm almost out of this. This is just a ACV apple cider vinegar. It's good for your body as well as your skin. I like to use this at night. Okay. You can find this like at Ross, Didi's, places like that, TJ Maxx. And I also like to use, you do need a sunscreen, okay? Because your skin is still sensitive, even though we have a melanin in our skin. So, but we do need to find ways to get in vitamin D, which some people like to use sun to get vitamin D. But you can also take a supplement as well and eat vitamin D. Okay. And really squeeze it on in your bowl. Okay, get that lemon in there and you don't need a lot so you just squeeze it in there and then I'm just going to put like a teaspoon or less of apple cider vinegar I'm going to add in some baking soda powder so you hear that okay you see it's bubbling so I'm just going to put some of this on my face. Okay, so now I'm going to take the mixture and just gently massage. Get around your fine lines. Get around that nose area too, okay? Get that skin. Just be gentle around your eye. You could get this area. But hit that forehead where those lines are. Get in there, okay? Your skin around your eyes are very delicate, so I'll just, I go in very gently, and I get the outside. Okay. And I forgot to add, you can get a, a wet a paper towel and just kind of sop up what you can't get with your fingertips. And let it sit because like I said, this is like an acid, not a natural acid. Okay. Because you want to have skin renewal. You want cell renewal. And you want your skin to look supple. And I also want to let you know I'm going to use some coconut oil. And you can get this from your local uh grocery store. Well, there go my dogs barking again. New face. Okay. And it is expensive. I have the mini. The mini is still expensive. It can run you like from $250, I think, to $300. Retailer for these are uh, Nordstrom's as well as QVC. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like. Okay. It looks like this in the inside. Okay. And these are the things that I use. Okay. This is a conductor gel. So by no means am I an esthetician, but I've done enough research to know that, you know, hey, even though we're talking about our face, you can also use the rest on your hands too, because you want your hands still looking young and supple as well okay here we go okay so now i'm just gonna get a wipe 
towel. You can get these from Dollar Tree. To pat my skin. And I'm going to balance out with uh, alcohol. Okay. But before I do that. <laughs> my little SpongeBob. Uh, ice. What do we call these things? I'm having a brain freeze, y'all. <laughs> Oh, God. But anyway, I'm going to use my uh, ice block here. Okay. And Mommy Dearest. Okay. This is where I got this from. Y'all remember that movie? Okay. So I just like to take this and go up on my skin. You know, I like to do this. Go on my skin. Go upwards. Go upwards. God, I'm giving y'all all my little secrets, huh? But if it can help somebody, hey, I'm just saying. Okay, you want your skin? It doesn't matter your age. Start young. So about the time you get my age, they'll be saying, no, what? How old are you? Okay. So, like I said, I'm going to just balance out with alcohol, and then I'll use my new face. So, I'm just going to um, balance out with alcohol and then moisturize. This is how I have to mold my hair. Okay, I just got to make sure every little piece is in place. I have fine hair. It looks thick, but it's actually fine. I'm just going to get a little bit of that, and I'm going to swoop it out, come down with it, finesse it like that. Okay, so lay that, do that one a little bit better up here. A little swoop. Yeah. No chemicals, no none of that in my hair. No one got no perm, none of that. This is my natural state. So yeah. My mama hair is straighter than this. My grandmother hair was all the way down to her booty. Okay, she could sit on it, but she kept it rolled up. So but that's how I mold my hair. I have to, I'm gonna go back with it with a comb, a fine tooth comb, and it's really gonna lay down. Cause if not, it's gonna be super Here's the wet. ponytail. So she's a simple, she's simple. Just, you know, comes with the combs in the inside. And don't put this on too tight. Okay. Now I'm about to wash my hands and I'm going to do my face. Okay, I'm not a makeup guru, but I know how to do a little something, something, something. Okay, so these palettes are old, okay? It's the Shade and Light Kat Von D. I'm going to use that to help me contour. And I'm going to use a BB palette. I don't know the number of it, but I got it from Burlington's and it's all about contour. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to use my little regular LA Girls uh, powder in the color Classic Tan. And I'm just going to do a quick face, okay? And I'm going to use my LA Girl Pro Concealers, which I use Toffee. And I use, uh, what is this? It's a dark color here.
Okay, I'm going to do a liquid lipstick. And this is the LA Girl color. DLG843. Okay, so I'm going to put this on. It's a liquid lipstick. Okay. That looks look okay. Now I'll color on here. I'll eye on lip. Come back around. Make that heart. Bring them together. Okay, so I'm going to add, put some blush on. And I got this blush from the Dollar Tree LA Colors. So let me just put some of this along my cheeks. And for goodness sakes, you guys, I'm using the same brush, okay? Oh, oh. Hey God, I got those cheeks rosy. Okay. Okay, I don't have a highlighter. This is what I use to highlight. <laughs> okay. So I just put my fingers in there. So I want to go with some gold today. So I'm going to go down the bridge of my nose. Okay, y'all. I don't use super, super expensive makeup. Because I find that... This is like my everyday stuff, you know? Yeah. Hey. I'm just trying to be myself, not really trying to turn into nobody else. Okay, see? Yeah. Okay, let's do the brows. So what I'm going to use is the Kat Von D eyeshadow. Okay, that one right there. This is an old palette, you guys. Okay, so I just get the powder and just start filling in my brows. I don't uh, really use pencil. I can, but I find that this is faster cool enough for me. Okay. Sorry if my eye look crazy, but I'm going to come over here and then do this one. Fill this brow in. more okay I think that's cool now what I'm gonna do is take my middle finger and just boop, coast it on down coast it down kind of feather it out clean around here with my thumb must have touched but just to make sure that it's clean okay take my fingers that's why I said I was washing my hands in the beginning so about time I come back my brows will be all y'all clean under my brows with the concealer so I'm going to just lightly sweep up under here. Okay. Do, 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 do. And then I'm going to do the other side. Ooh. Just come under here. Okay. 
Everybody have their own way of doing it, but this is how I do it, okay? And then I just come and clean it up some. Okay. Just kind of clean it up. So I'm not going to put any eyeshadow on or anything. And I feel like, okay, one, two, and three. So I'm even, okay? They're cousins, okay? Not identical twins. So, yeah, that's looking cool. Mm hmm Okay. Lash. These are the um, lashes that I use. Okay. Now, one thing I do know, some lashes are all the same. It's just that they switched the name, okay? 605, number 605. Okay, that's all. Number 605. So, I just get my thumb and just slide them down in the middle. And this is what I apply my lashes with. Sorry, man. Okay, I don't have that much glue on, so I'm just going to put them on, stretch my lid, and then I'm going to go in. Just go in because I'm going to get it close to the lash line as possible. Lay it down. Lay it down. Squeeze it. Okay, now. Take my finger and just go up. Oh, excuse my eyeballs, y'all. I don't want to scare anybody. But yeah, that's basically all I do. One, two, three. And my lash is on. Okay, so no lash. Lash. Okay. Damn. So I'm going to throw the other one on. Okay, I'm going to show you me putting this one on. I'm blowing because these are my my lashes, but if I was doing them on somebody else, of course, I would not be blowing on them. Okay, so I'm just going to take Now the glue is on. See? Okay, now, here we go. Here we go. Okay. So I'm going to put this one on. Okay. And um, come right here with it. Come down. Make sure. Excuse my eyeball if it's going to the side or going crazy. I do apologize, but for demonstration purposes, I'm trying to show you. Okay. So. And that is it. Mama and baby and daddy hearts. And put my uh, beauty marks on. There got my dogs again, y'all. So, oh, I already have moles. I'm just going to deepen them. Okay. I did show you how, how I take care of my skin. I showed you my hair. I showed you how I slick it just so I can add in a cute little ponytail. Okay. So, yeah, that's how I'm looking. All right. So, this is your girl, Virgo Creativity. I hope you enjoyed my beauty series, okay? All things beauty, because that's a part of my channel. So, I want to say, I hope wherever you are in the land, I hope that you're feeling fancy and free and you're doing the things that you love to do. Come back again. Peace. And don't forget to spread love.